This webinar will discuss the software environment on the new Compute Canada clusters. In particular, the information here applies to the new national Compute Canada systems, Cedar and Graham. The operating system on these will be Linux CentOS 7. The languages available for development include C, C++, Fortran, Python, Java, MATLAB, all of these available in different versions and flavors. The parallel development support includes MPI, OpenMP, OpenACC, CUDA, and OpenCL. The job scheduler used will be Slurm, and I invite you to see another webinar devoted to that topic. Compute Canada installs and maintains software packages which are in high demand. Currently installed software is listed in a table at docs.computecanada.ca under modules. So here is the docs.computecanada.ca front page wiki. And if we search for modules, we see the table of currently installed software, the version, and if we click on expand, we can see some additional information. If the software package you need is not listed and you want it installed, please email support at computecanada.ca with your request. You can compile and install your own packages in your own space. Please ask Compute Canada staff for help and advice. Now some details of our software installation setup. Lower level packages which are not performance sensitive are installed via the Nix package manager. General packages are installed using the Easy Build framework. Software is located under slash cvmfs directory. Users can access these software packages by loading appropriate modules. Multiple versions of a given software package may be installed, so the users must load the right one. Modules used LMOD software, which ensures that only a compatible set of modules is loaded at any one time. Desired modules must be loaded before job using them is submitted, so the best place to do this in the, is in your job script. For more, please search for using modules at docs.computecanada.ca wiki. So here is how you use modules in a nutshell. Let's consider Gromax software as an example. To search for which versions are available as modules, with please execute module spider gromax. Then you can load a particular module with module load gromax slash and then the module version. You can check which modules are currently loaded with module list. I will now demonstrate the use of various module commands. To start off, I usually want to see which modules I have currently loaded in my, in my environment. So I do module list. And here I have the basic list of modules that all users see when they log in for the first time. To see which modules I could load at this point, I can do module avail. And here I have a listing of all the possible modules which it is possibly possible to load right now. So let's say I am interested in the CUDA module. I can find out more information about it by running module help CUDA slash version number. And this shows me that CUDA is a library which enables software to use GPUs. So let me load this module by module load CUDA slash version number. And now when I do module list, I can see that this module is loaded. It's right there. If I run module avail again, this shows me the modules which I can load right now. And you can notice that the list of available modules has changed. So now I have a list of CUDA enabled modules, which because I have loaded CUDA, I can now load these modules because uh, these are softwares which use GPUs. And I also have some software which use both MPI and CUDA. However, software which uses only MPI and not CUDA is no longer visible. So let me go back to the previous situation. So I do module unload CUDA and then module avail. And now I am back to my previous setup 
and I can see that there's a number of uh, MPI dependent modules which do not use CUDA and I don't see any modules which use CUDA. So let's say I'm interested in one particular software package and version, let's say Gromax version 5.1.4, but now I would like to see all the possible modules which come with this software. To do this, I can do module spider gromax slash version number. And I can see that there's an Intel 2016.4 compiled modules module with CUDA support. There's an Intel 2016.4 module compiled without CUDA support. And there's an Intel 2017.1 module compiled without CUDA support. So let's say I want to use the version compiled with Intel 2017. To do this, I can do module load Intel 2017, followed by module load Gromax slash 5.1.4. And when I do module list, I can see that now I am I have the Intel compiler version 2017.1 in the environment and I have Gromax version 5.1.4 in the environment. The final very useful module command is the keyword command. So let's say I am interested in all the modules which somehow deal with molecular dynamics. So I can do module keyword molecular and this will search for all the module descriptions and it will identify all the modules which have something to do with the term molecular. You can find more information on the Compute Canada Wiki under Using Modules.